Just a very quick look at the comparison between performance and fidelity on the PlayStation 5. It's very hard to tell the difference. It seems like the arrangement of bushes and rocks are a little bit different, but in terms of draw distances and such, it seems like it's virtually unnoticeable. So it begs the question as to whether or not you need to put it on fidelity. But if you do choose to do so here, as you can see under the display options, if you go for fidelity, make sure that you leave cap frame on. Do not turn it off because it will sporadically have your FPS bounce all over the place and it's going to be unplayable. Furthermore, in my humble opinion, head on over to the, um, actually it would help if I said the right thing, gameplay options, sorry. Turn down the camera sensitivity, aiming sensitivity. It's usually at one for 100%. I put it down to eight. Uh, if you don't like it, fine. The acceleration, I don't like that shite. Oh my God, it drives me crazy. And when you're playing on fidelity mode, right? Because there's something a little bit more alluring about it. And I don't know if it's the placebo effect, but it seems to be nicer despite a quick back and forth comparison, not really doing it justice. It's going to kind of give you like the, the whiplash re rebound elasticity like effect if you know what i mean almost like a wave like ba boing you know like it's it's very flimsy when you have the acceleration on because you're going to be turning your camera and as soon as you stop it it's still going to keep going because it's 30 fps right and it's still slow and it's almost like it's still trying to catch up by turning off the acceleration completely along with the aiming acceleration when playing on fidelity It'll be as such that when you move around with the camera like this, it'll feel smooth. It won't feel like you're no having to over uh, compensate. And that wasn't I supposed to happen, to but to eh, whatever. They're actually talking to you, by the way. That's if you give the video a thumbs down. So anyhow, if you like the video... Go ahead, give it a thumbs up. Otherwise, that's what's going to happen to you. So it's on fidelity. I mean, kind of a little weird predicament there. That wasn't supposed to happen. And yes, it is on story mode just because I want to get through the story and talk about things. But I am finding for a 30 FPS frame rate on fidelity for it to actually be very very smooth and and i know a lot of people are like did you just use 30 fps with the word smooth and yeah i actually did get over it anyhow as always if you like the video go ahead give it a thumbs up i mean it does really help support the channel with the algorithm you know what let's let's switch it up i mean i just did it in fidelity i mean we we took it this far now we might as well go full out fidelity with ray trace eh, i don't give a crap about ray tracing i don't find it makes a big of a difference anyways okay now we're on performance now we see it like without just like a like a still image right i ain't paying for nothing oh how do you like me now yeah so it's a little bit Okay, that's great. I'm ta trying to talk so there. Blah, 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 blah. Anyways. So that's what's really um, baffling about this whole thing. The conclusion that I was trying to get at. Normally, sometimes, because it's in the description. Sometimes the uh, fidelity versus performance is more than just 1080p versus 4K. Some games go further. They give you 4K. They give you extra you know, ambient occlusion, anti-aliasing, draw distances, and all that kind of stuff, right? It's not always just 4K, 1080p, and everything else is the same. In this case, because it does say that graphics are enhanced, I'm not noticing any uh, draw, like any reason to actually put it on fidelity, to be honest with you. It's, it's kind of 
just, I don't know, really confusing. And, and if I'm just sort of like, you know, running around here back and forth, just kind of doing a couple of things and then going back really quick. No, no. You little bastard. There we go. Now we're back in the 30 FPS mode. You got to let it like sort of load up there because it's like redoing stuff. See, that's normal, obviously. See, now we're running around. There's almost like uh, something about it that I can't quite put my finger on it, but it seems to look nicer a little bit when it's actually being played out rather than just kind of standing still. I don't know. It's really just hard to put into words, but I'm, I'm probably going to go back and forth to be honest. But in the end, I mean, it tells you right there that fidelity, uh, you know, it's a higher fidelity rendering mode favoring resolution and graphical quality. And that performance is simply a high frame rate mode favoring performance. Maybe they removed some bushes maybe uh, sort of removed a couple of rocks, didn't change the draw distance, and everything else is the same? I don't know, but there it is. As always, if you liked the video, go ahead, give it a thumbs up. I mean, it does greatly help support the channel with the algorithm. You didn't like it, I don't care. Go ahead, give it a thumbs down. And as always, I'll bend it and half twist it and uh, do that to you. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, I mean, naturally, that would be fantastic. But if not, thanks for stopping by anyways. Take care, and maybe I'll see some of you in the next one. Bye for now.